Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, the Grow Group Director, and I'm here with our business administrator, Michael Sullivan, who just brought part three of our Transform series called Prioritize. Very timely message today, I think, for, for us and for a lot of people. Um, and so we talked, you talked about when you find yourself in this season of scarcity, um, how do you respond? What is, what is God calling us to respond? And so I have a question about that. Mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you enter into this time, like if it's a bad test score, if it's an accident, if it's a loss of a job, um, whatever the incident may be that kind of triggers moving into this season, mm -hmm. how do we not respond in our flesh? How do we trust God and not respond in ways that are natural to us, like anger or mm -hmm. blame? How, how do we do that? Well, I can say, <clears throat> in my experience, at first I was angry. I mean, I even said that in the, at the I was devastated. When you, when you face those situations, you're going to feel that way, and so it, it then becomes, okay, what am I gonna do to move forward? And I think there's a couple of things that I can say that really helped me. One, you know, I mentioned my dad, um, but I also had three roommates that I lived with who were all sitting for the CPA exam, who were all believers, that encouraged me and helped me walk through that. And so if you're in this situation where you're angry and where things are hard, you've got to be in community to help point you back to the gospel, to help remind you of God's truth because you don't want to believe that in the moment. You want uh, to believe differently and that's the temptation is to believe differently. Uh, so I'd say that's the first thing is you really have to pursue community and you know at Faith Bridge we have our grow groups. You got to invest in those um, and jump in especially if you find yourself. The second thing is it's just really pouring into scripture and, and seeing over and over again, all throughout scripture, Jesus didn't say it was gonna be easy. He told us there was gonna be suffering. He told us there would be hardship. And you see Paul, Paul wrote Philippians from prison. Habakkuk is in this great depression. Uh, we've got Paul writing to Thessalonians who were being persecuted and he's saying, hey, it's gonna be by his power in moving forward with faith, being prompted by faith. And I think that's what we have to do is move forward with the faith that we have. And so oftentimes, God meets us there. Um, he moves with the faith that we have, not with the faith that we're gonna need in the future. He meets us right in the moment. And so I think that's really important to highlight. Mm, that's good. And so, um what, what are my resources when, if I'm trying to balance my budget, if I'm looking at how I can give mm -hmm. or the season that I'm in, um, what resources does FaithBridge have for me? Sure. I mean, obviously we mentioned one in the sermon and one in the announcements today, and that's Financial Peace University. And that starts in January, and that's a great resource for people. They can uh, get plugged into that class. Uh, I believe there's scholarships available Absolutely. if you need help. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's a great class because it walks you through your budget. It, it helps you look at things differently. Um, if you're sitting there and you're saying, well, that's January. I'm in November right now. I need this now. Uh, on Financial Peace's website, they have a budgeting tool. It's called Every Dollar. Great tool. You can log on. There's a free version. There's also, I think you can pay a little bit uh, to use an upgraded version. But there's a version there that helps you plug in your budget and really think about the decisions that you're making. Mm -hmm. uh, there's other resources out there. I know there's mint.com is a popular one that helps you see what are other people spending in your area, what's normal. And I think that can sometimes be mm -hmm. helpful just from a standpoint of, oh my gosh, I'm really eating out a lot and maybe you don't even realize it. I think even walking through transparency, I'll tell you something that's really helped me recently is I, I mentioned I got married. Well, I had to sit down and walk line item through line item with Jill and kind of talk about, hey, this is our budget. This is what I'm thinking. And her and I really engaged in that conversation together. And it makes you realize, oh, this is where my priority is pretty quickly because mm -hmm. you're explaining to someone else, hey, this is why I'm spending my money the way that I am. Um, we often talk about stewardship being a spiritual decision, that every line in our checkbook mm -hmm. or every swipe of the credit card is a spiritual decision. And, I, and so I think I would encourage you, find somebody you trust who's not gonna go you know, publicize your W-2 or whatever, but walk with them and say, hey, this is 
where I'm spending my money and, and, and just kind of show them that transparency gives you a chance to really see, oh, this is my heart behind this. Is you have to explain why you're spending the money the way you are, it's very helpful. So again, I, I mean, that goes back to community. There's so many great resources and um, there's a lot of stuff online that you can look up, but that's where I would lead people to. Great, and a very practical ways. Um, and thank you for your your transparency today um, in sharing just what you've been through um, and what God has taught you through that and even is still teaching you through this season mm -hmm. as well. So thank you. Sure. We, we appreciate your message today. Thanks. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week for part four. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.